So we're checking out this Nap Lajeway card here, and I've got a really cool Nap Lajeway uh, story. So I want to I want to hear about it. <laughs> so in 1909, okay. there was an automobile maker who its name I think was McCandless, but former something like that. I wanted to start to challenge Henry Ford and the Dodge brothers and GM. The way to do that was to build the car to run the Indianapolis 500. So we went to Kinshaw Mountain Landis, who was the chair, the commissioner of baseball, and said, "Listen, I want to give." One of my cars to whoever wins the American League Batty race. He said, I'll give you the car now and you can take it around all the American League parks yeah. and promote it. And it'll it'll help sales. Landis said, Well, that sounds great. Let's do it. it. Comes down to the last game, last weekend of the season, the last Sunday. Ty Cobb is hitting 382 and he's playing in Washington. I misspoke. Cobb was hitting 385. Nap Lajue was hitting 382. Tight race between Cobb and Lajue. And Lajoie was playing in St. Louis, and he, was play, he had a doubleheader. The Browns were in tremendous disarray. And to the point where their general manager, earlier in the week, had to go out into the sandlots and hire two pitchers to pitch each game of the doubleheader because they were out of pitchers. Cobb goes two for five against Washington, finishes at 386. Lajoie gets up against the sandlot pitcher the first time. And it's a screamer that almost beheads the third baseman. At the end of the inning, the third baseman comes into the dugout, and the manager says, to listen, I don't want you to get hurt because we have this amateur pitcher. When Lajoie comes up, he plays short left field. Lajoie got up the next time. He moved 30 yards in the left field. Lajoie saw this and bunted. So in the doubleheader, he went eight for nine, bunted every time up. Really? And he wins the car. So he got he hit 388. <laughs>